Hi there and welcome here to the new video and today I'm going to talk about expose and consume APIs. Okay, so at the moment I have um, an entity, employee entity and I have two records with the name Emily and John with these attributes. And what I'm going to try to, to uh, expose is this entity. And as well, I'm going to consume the, that um, URL that we're going to, to generate. Uh, and uh, we're going to consume the same that we are exposing and show on a list and uh, see how how this works okay okay so let's come back here so in the logic tab in service studio we can in the rest we can consume or expose apis okay if we uh, expose so it means that we are exposing uh, our data to external sources and what I'm going to do is uh, after creating here the REST, REST API, we need to add uh, a method. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to use get. Okay. So what I'm saying is that I'm going to ex expose something and uh, the ev everything that he can do or the, the external source can do is just to get the information. He cannot update, delete, or anything. Okay. So after we expose and create the method, we, we click twice in the method. And here we have our normal flow. And here we're going to uh, fetch or uh, retrieve our employee data. Okay. So in this case, we drag and drop uh, the employees. You can create your own table and test this. Okay. That's the point. And everything we need to do here, this is just a simple, uh, simple text test. Um, in real uh, projects, you're going to use uh, authentication, validations, and so on. But here is just a matter of showing how it uh, works. Okay. So here we drag and drop our uh, employees, our table, and we just need to do an assign here. Okay. And this assign will uh, have the list of employees that we have so far in our uh, database okay so you have in this case we have um, a table with all these records and in the output that's what we want so we we are trying to get and we're going to um, set an output which will be the employee list so we need to create an output parameter okay and in that output we can uh, set the the employee okay the employee um, the employee also we have here yeah you can set the employee which is this it's the, the table or we can create a structure and to send uh, that list and according to the attributes that we want to send. Okay, the difference from using these to create a structure. Okay, so the difference is that we have full control on what we're going to expose but in here we do not have that why because right now i have 10 attributes but imagine with um, new requirements in the project we may need to extend this table and to have instead of 10 attributes we're going to have let's say 15 okay what will happen when the external source consumes our API, he will also retrieve and get 
those uh, more uh, five attributes but sometimes we do not want that okay we just have specific uh, attributes that we want to expose and that's why we create a structure okay so in this case i'm just gonna send the name and the age okay you can also copy this and expose here okay uh, let me just remove this okay so we have the name we have the age so far so good okay and we can go back here in the methods and change this to employee but we need we need to change this uh, to list okay we want to, to, retrieve, to retrieve a list not just the employee record and here right now we have the employee list that's what we want and here in the output we just set the output as the employee list that we want to map and the, the get employee list okay that's all in this case he did um, uh, a correct uh, assign because it is the same that we have here so we just copy here to here and is everything the same so integer uh, the name here uh, also has the same data type that's why he did the match correctly but the match that he's going to do is just the name and age that's the one that we have here okay okay so oh sorry something happened here uh, let me go back here so list employee let's see what he does here okay yeah no, i was mistaken okay so um he like like we don't we do not have the the same exact exact structure that we have here he will just map these ones that's that's what i said before but he will um, show us uh, the correct mapping that he's only going to map these two because that's what we have in the structure okay so on the methods we set this uh, in body so we want to send uh, as a body body type not header so this is correct and uh, this is get all good and also we can send default values uh, so let's say that uh, for instance in our systems we have integers integers has default value as zero so if we change this uh, and we have um, uh, a record that doesn't have a, an age so it will retrieve zero we're going to send zero okay that's uh, one example or just we have a default value here he will just send john even uh, we do not have set anything on the name okay but in this case i'm not gonna set that i'm just gonna use uh, send default values to no okay and let me just uh, change this so get employee uh, yeah that's it just say get employee that's okay and with this we can publish okay it's finish our expose it's not that difficult of course if you want to add complexity like authentication validation and so on we can just we, we could just create um, an if here and set, say if this is empty or not and do not uh, have to, to set an assign or uh, you, you can think about everything regarding this about uh, verifications validations authentication and so on but in this case, it's just um, straight, straightforward just to, to show how this works, okay? So after we do this, we can, we can go here and open documentation. And if we open this, we can see our uh, documentation for the REST API that we created. And right now we can see that we have uh, a new URL generated by our systems. We can also see the response content type. So in this case is uh, JSON. And we have the output parameter, which is an array uh, with an object, uh, which is the uh, name 
hence h okay so what i want to do now is now we expose but now let's imagine that we we are the external source and we want to consume this so let's consume so we consume and we add a single method and we set as get that's the one the, the one that we want to do we can go here in the test tab and click test if everything is okay and as we can see it raise, it raises a status of 200 so it is okay and we have here the name emily age 24 name john and age 33 so this means that uh, that's exactly what we are going to get here in just we have two records so after this we just copy the response body okay in order when we click finish to have the the output correctly so let's hit finish and right now we can see that we have uh, our response and everything and we have can't apply i'm just going to change this to expose just to distinguish this okay and uh, here we have already already what's what we needed and now we just need to to drag and drop this on the table and see if we have already the the data here correctly okay okay so let's do this so let's go back here i created the screen already for this so let's uh, create that uh, fetch data here tip an action and let's uh, drag and drop the get apply expose and we need to set an output parameter in this case i'm gonna drag drag this to here and set the output here so response it will be equal to the response that we have that we get in the in the api that we are consuming here i'm going to just change this to get employee and we can drag and drop let me see if this works like this yeah it works so we have name and age okay let me just uh, change this to here i don't know why it went there and uh, and right now we can test let's test this so let's publish okay so let's open this uh, let me just first i forgot this let me just uh, change this to anonymous Okay, so let's open. Open browser. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. So we after we expose the employee list, we consume that API. With we using we are using this on the screen. We are using the table, using the data action, and we can see the records that we have in our uh, table so hope this was uh, helpful for you and you, just, and you understood everything if you have anything to add or any question please comment below and i'll see you in the next video